care if your bags are made in America, made in Paris, made in China, or Vietnam, or Mexico. Stay tuned and that we will discuss this topic. Hello, my name is Andrea. Welcome or welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me in the Babe Cave. As you can see, I have put my bags up <laughs> and I appreciate all the responses from my last video. That was amazing and it's still growing and I appreciate all the responses and some really great points and I will link the video down below but it'll also be the next video that you can click on after you watch so, this one. Like I said, the subject for today is, do you buy bags made in America? Do you buy bags only made in France? Do you buy bags that are made in China or Costa Rica or Mexico? And is that even important to you? I'm gonna roll back five years ago when I started YouTube. And at that time, well, no, I didn't, I didn't start YouTube, I just started watching YouTube five years ago. And that was the big boom right before price increases and more people were into Louis Vuittons and higher end brands. And for some people, it was important that their Louis Vuitton said made in, pa in France or Paris. And some people did not uh, keep bags that were made in the USA. And I always wondered, is there a quality issue? Is there a reason why we chose made in France or made in the USA? And so I'm pulling out some of my bags to talk about where these bags were made and according to the tag inside. <laughs> so we're gonna start out with my Coach Top Handle Willis and I've showed this multiple times. This bag is from, I think the 80s or 90s, I can't remember now, it's beautiful condition. And this is was bought in the United States. And the creed on the inside, which I'll pop up here, it says it's made in the United States. And the quality on this is spectacular. As you can see, it's in that beautiful brown color and it's made in the USA. So there's my first one. The next one, we're gonna go to Louis Vuitton. And that's mainly what people, I think, return bags if they say made in the USA versus made in France. Again, I'm just sharing what I heard and I don't even remember who said it. <laughs> I just wanna know how important is it to you where your bag is made. So I'm gonna pull out my uh, Viva City GM right here. And this thing has the thickest canvas and quality that I've ever seen in a bag. And I can't remember how old this is right now, but I want to see where this one is made. Again, I'll pop up pictures. So now I have a bag right here made in France. And the quality and the leather, vaquetta leather, the buckles, the double pockets with the magnets. This thing is a workhorse and it's going to survive decades of use. So here is an example of made in France that is excellent quality. And this right here, excellent quality made in the United States. Now we're gonna pull out my Speedy 30, which I just used recently. And this one is right here. It is made in France. So again, this is some very thick canvas material. I don't know if they changed their, their canvas from 20 years ago, I don't know, but it seems like the older canvas, and this one, like I said, is made in France, and it is in really good shape for how old it is. So uh, I hate this part, the wrinkling, but I can't get rid of it. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna go on to Dooney. Dooney is an American company, I think out of Connecticut. I know their Florentine leather comes from Italy, 
but do I know if everything is made here, assembled here? For example, you all have seen, if you've watched me at all, I, this is a gorgeous Dooney and Burke satchel in Florentine leather. And the, this one is made in America. You can tell by the red tassels versus the ones that are not made here are green tassels. And the quality and construction of this bag, I think it's as good as the ones that are not made in the USA. I don't know for sure, but I think, you know, this one is very nice. It has feet on the bottom, very good quality. And it was, and it has a tag inside that says made in the USA. Another one. This one is a coach bag I recently got from another YouTuber named Robin. And it's a coach bag. It's got the biggest turn lock, but I looked inside, beautiful hardware. Guess where this coach bag is made? This one right here said it was handcrafted in China. And it's a beautiful bag. It's got giant pebbling, it's got a back pocket, very cute shoulder bag, and I love the giant pebbling. But it's made in China. Did I care about it being made in China? Nope. It's about quality to me. And this next one, <laughs> it's one of my favorite Timu bags I ever ordered. <laughs> and it is the dupe of another brand. And it is full leather, made in China. Still smells wonderful. <laughs> and I didn't pay that much for it, and it's a cute dumpling type of bag. Again, it, the quality and the softness of this leather is amazing. And maybe they all get their leathers from different sources, different places. That leads to another question. Are they assembled in China? Are they importing leathers from another country? <laughs> These are my questions. But anyway, so quality on this, love it. I've wore it a lot of times and there has been no wear on this bag. Here is my vintage equestrian bag from Dooney and Burke in the color navy. And in this tag, it says Dooney and Burke made in the USA. Great quality, gorgeous leather, brass hardware, just a beautiful constructed handbag with the logo in the back. Do you care if it's made in the USA or do you care if it's made in France? Or are you one of those that are kind of like me? Uh, I don't really care as long as it's good quality. That's what I care about. And next I want to point out a Georgia handbag company called Go Forth Goods. I really love this bison leather. It, this bag for the price and the quality, it, it's, it's really good craftsmanship and they are made in the USA. Now, I'm not sure where they get their leathers. I don't, I haven't dug that far, but the quality of the thickness of the handles, the hardware, the type of hide that you get is so pretty. This is uh, the color, I believe it was called Cobalt Blue. And again, the company is Go Forth Goods out of Georgia. The quality here is really, really nice. And I like that, that you get the option of bison leather. Next bag. This is American Leather Company. I assume and pretty sure this is made in America. However, as I read the tag of American Leather, which this leather is super soft, it says that they... We are proud to source over 95% of our leather from responsible leather accredited partners. So responsible leather. Does anybody know what that <laughs> really means? 
eco like half leather what does it mean <laughs> this has some really great details for made in america it has feet on the bottom a back pocket nice shoulder drop that's detachable beautiful color and even on the tag it said some leathers may have different coloring based because they just all can be unique and one of a kind next is my little michael kors extra small kareen bag and i looked inside of the tag of this one which is pebbled leather all leather and it is made in indonesia and it's beautiful there is nothing about this leather that and the quality it doesn't it looks beautiful that's what i'm gonna leave you with does it matter where it says it's made in because you can see by my collection i really don't have a preference but maybe there are some places that have more quality issues than other places let me know down below because i am curious if you only buy made in france or only made in italy and I think a lot of people started watching Tanner Leatherstein. If you don't know his YouTube channel, go check it out. It's really cringy for bag lovers, or at least me, when he cuts apart in really expensive bag. But honestly, I like how he examines the leather and the quality of the leather and of so many companies if you're ever curious about your type of leather maybe he's done that video on coach and on ysl on i think uh, he even did a dooney and burke finally so go to his channel it's really uh, eye-opening <laughs> so i'm curious leave it down below do you care do you not care or it's just about what you like what you like is is just fine too it doesn't matter to me if my Louis Vuitton say made in the USA, made in France. It's about do I like it and how is it constructed? Will this stand the test of time? I don't know. <laughs> and so those are my questions for you. And again, thank you for responses, comments, likes, subscribes. And these are just some topics that I'm coming up with because... I'm curious and it gets everybody talking of why why back five years ago people were not buying made in USA because I know I'm not the only one that has heard that so I want to hear from you and thank you for my new subscribers and all my subscribers thank you and I hope you uh, enjoyed this topic and the eye candy that came along with it because I have a collection of bags from all over, not just the United States. So I want to hear from you. And until next video, subscribe and go ahead and watch this video right here if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye.